Um, the policy has been developed after discussion again with uh, local GPs and it has the support of the uh, LMC. It was signed off by the governing body uh, in November um, 16. Um, the policy aims to save t somewhere around a million pounds per year and although it's a bit of a dilemma for clinicians because on one hand we've always been encouraged to prescribe generically and and have been taught that that's the most cost effective way to prescribe um, now with the advent of branded generics um, that isn't always the case and the the GMC expects us to make good use of available resources and um, and that's not so easy now that branded generics have, have come onto the market because they are cheaper than the standard generic uh, drug tariff price so just sticking to the traditional generic prescribing doesn't actually fulfill that GMC um, expectation. Now uh, if we continue to prescribe certain drugs generically we're not getting the best deal for the NHS or for the patients sat in front of us and I appreciate it's that learning new um, branded generic names is, isn't easy. Some of them aren't even very readily pronounceable. Um, and we've tried to make this easier by limiting the number of products that we're actively switching to around 20. And um, for those practices that have got the software Optimize RX switched on, it will prompt you to switch to the um, cheaper, uh, cheaper products and, and that will help you fulfill that um, GMC expectation. The, the branded generic product that we've chosen should be prescribed by brand name for clinical reasons because they are either modified release drugs, they're patches or contraception or inhalers. And the decision to use a branded generic in these situations isn't taken lightly. We consider uh, the security of the supply chain, the price guarantee, and we want that to be held for at least over, for two years and that it meets a minimum savings threshold. And also that the drug should be prescribed by a brand and it isn't a category M product. One big advantage of uh, switching to um, brands is that, uh, to branded generics, is that the patients will always get the same product every time. So there won't be a change um, in the packet every month, depending on what the pharmacist has managed to get in most uh, cheaply, him or herself. And to help patients, you, you can write in the dose direction field something along the lines of this is the same as whatever name of drug your patient is familiar with. For example, with Sedupla, you can put this is the same as serotide. Um, in fact, there's detail on how to do this in a how-to guide, which is the last link under useful links on the prescribing pages of the RSS. Um, there's also a list of the current branded generic switches which we believe could safely happen and these are also on the prescribing pages of the RSS and that under uh, Vale of York Quip Updates, click into the current year and it's at the bottom of the list. Um, there is now about 27 drugs in all but many of those are contraceptives and glucose RX and Fenbid, drugs that colleagues are probably already quite um, familiar with. Uh, there are some big savings to be made from changing inhalers and the way in which it's recommended that any of these switches are done is detailed in the link at the bottom of the page which takes you to the um, protocols that the Harrogate CCG hosted medicines management team use when, when they're doing this work for local practices. So thanks for watching. Uh, we hope that this change will really help the CCG um, within the current financial pressures and help us to achieve our vision of having the best health and well-being for everyone in our community. And we appreciate the efforts that local um, prescribers, GPs and nurses go to, to um, trying to achieve this.